Hello all. Today we will continue the rectilinear motion or motion in a straight line with the concept of velocity and speed. We will understand here what is the difference between velocity and speed. Here, while we will study velocity and speed, we will study average velocity and average speed and instantaneous velocity. We will start from the average velocity and average speed. What is the average velocity? The average velocity is total displacement upon total time. This time interval in which displacement occurred. What is the average speed? Average speed is total path traversed upon total time. We will understand this concept with the help of the image. This rectangle triangle ABC. Suppose an object started from point A and come to point B then from point B come to point C then we have to find the average velocity and average speed of the object the distance between A to B is 4 meter and B to C is 3 meter time taken from A to B is T1 4 second B to C is T2 3 second now, we know in the right angle triangle, AB square plus BC square plus AC square. From this, AC will be 5 meter. So, in this example, average velocity is equal to displacement upon total time. What is the displacement? Final position of object with respect to initial position. The displacement will be AC. AC by total time. Total time will be the same from A to B and B to C, T1 plus T2. 5 by 7 meter per second. And what will be the average speed? Total path traverse upon total time. Total path traverse will be AB plus AC. AB plus AC. Total time will be the same, T1 plus T2, means 7 by 1 meter per second. Obviously, your average velocity is less than the average speed. So, in general, average speed is always greater than or equal to average velocity. Now, suppose motion in a stress line only, only in one direction, means an object moves from A to B in one direction then what in this case what will be the average speed 4 by 4 1 meter per second and what will be the average velocity will be the same 4 by 4 1 meter per second so in one dimensional motion magnitude of the average velocity will be equal to average speed Why I am telling here magnitude of velocity? Because velocity is vector quantity, but the speed is a scalar quantity. What is the mean by vector quantity? Vector quantity has both magnitude and direction. But the scalar quantity only have magnitude. The scalar quantity has no direction. understand this concept see this example an object is moving on circular path with a constant a speed say v naught so consider we are at a point a Velocity is V1 at point B, 
So you might have been studied in vector sector. The direction in the x direction is denoted by i cap. In y direction j cap. And in minus x direction, negative x direction, minus i cap. So here what is the v1 is equal to v0. Speed means magnitude and vector direction. Same as V2, V0 into J and V3, V0 into minus I means minus V0 I. So magnitude, what is the magnitude of the uh, I cap? This is called a unity vector. This magnitude is 1. Magnitude of I or is equal to 1. Same magnitude of J is 1. So the magnitude of V1 is equal to magnitude of V2 is equal to magnitude of V3 is equal to V0. This is the speed. Means the speed at point A, B and C or even point on the circuit is same V0. But Velocities are different. V1 is this one, V2 is this one, V3 is this one because of only changing the direction. So this is the best example to understand what is the difference between velocity and speed. Okay? Velocities have magnitude with direction, but the speed has only magnitude. Instantaneous velocity. What is instantaneous velocity? It is defined as the velocity at a particular instant. At a particular instant. Means V instantaneous is equal to limit t tend to delta t tend to 0. What is delta t? The time travels from point A to point B. But if this time travels tending to 0 means at a particular point, delta x upon delta t. What is delta x upon delta t? Average velocity. So instantaneous velocity depends on the dx upon dt. As you will learn in calculus, what is the limit, you will be understand. Here for the particular time, you understand instantaneous velocity is nothing but the derivative of the x with respect to t which is also called the slope of the xt curve. Means rate of change of x with respect to t. Delta t tend to 0 means delta t infinitesimally small. Means at a particular time. So, suppose here an object is started from point A to point B from P1 is equal to 0 to T2 is equal to 10 seconds. So, in average velocity, we can calculate what is the average velocity while moving from A to B. But, if I ask to you that what is the velocity at the point C while moving from A to B, then how will we be able to calculate? This is one with the instantaneous velocity at a particular point means at a particular time. So suppose a graph is given here in a person, a basic concept that an extra curve is like this and it is being asked at point P, what is the velocity at point P? Instantaneous velocity. At point P velocity means instantaneous velocity at a particular point. So, 
we have to already suppose given that theta is going to 4 to 5 degree. So what we will do? You will see what is the slope at this point. It is already given in the question theta is 45 degree. So it is being asked, calculate the velocity, calculate the instantaneous velocity from this graph. How will calculate? You know instantaneous velocity is equal to dx upon dt. What is dx upon dt? It is the slope. You are seeing that here the slope is tan theta. Slope is defined as tangent of this angle. Tan theta. So velocity will be tan theta, so to 1045 degree equal to 1 meter per second. Okay. 